What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Spirit Baby Kale. We back with another timeless message. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Turn this shit down. Music too loud. But we back with another timeless message. Nine times out of ten, if you hear right now, this message probably meant for you. So take a resonate, leave the rest out. Everything for the highest good, no harm and none, no deception, no trickery. Let's dive right into it. First, I'm going to light us a candle and an incense. <laughs> Let's start us off. It clear our minds, clear away any negative energy, and also do this the same with the candle, with that fire energy. So we got that air energy going in, the fire energy at the same time. I already got me some more candles going right here, but that's beside the point. But this candle for us. Whoever come across this, I wish peace, blessings, abundance upon them as they be healed. Divine guidance be sent to them. The absolute source take care of them. I'll take care of them and all their problems. I'm so country. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All high powers, thank you, all spirit guys for our highest good, most benevolent outcome. Amen, amen, amen. Protect us through this reading so no deception, no trickery, or no harm happens to us throughout all times and space. Amen, amen, amen. And dimensions. Amen, amen. amen. Like that instant. So you know we always dive into the um light seer's deck first or go to see what spiritual guides and masters want to come through and say something to us. Then we pull out the tarot. But today I want to kind of do it a little different. So I'm gonna pull out who come I'm gonna pull out who come coming through through this message and then I'm gonna pull the um the earth oracle messages and then I'm gonna pull my tarot to kind of clarify the whole situation and mysteries that we got. So let's see who come through now. First card, the Myron, sacred vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. So yeah, not only forgiving, you know, for other people, I mean, you're know, forgiving other people, forgiving for yourself so you can be able to release and heal yourself because you can't heal if you still got the same energy and situations and thought forms still taking over your mind. So if you're able to release all those things and forgive it and understand the situation and probably was for the highest good or learning curve, you know, you release these energies and heal and go to the next level. Three, three, three on the clock as I said it. Next card. Uh -oh. Saint Germain, yeah, karma releasing. Move, ooh, move beyond drama. Create your own path. Make room for good energy. So yeah, if you choosing to forgive, you heal, and then you releasing all that karma that won't tie you back into those same cycles and situations. And this basically lets you open the way to create your own path. You know what I'm saying? open you can do whatever you want to do and it's kind of you know it's hard when you can do whatever you want to do but once you get the hang of it and see your different talents your gifts your hobbies it won't be such a a drawing them <laughs> then we got mercury open communication bottom of the dead christian Mercury, open communication. Get a weight off your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. So you choosing to forgive these people. Four, four, four on the clock as I say that. And releasing the karmas so you won't get stuck in the same situations and, and things. You might stuck in the same situations and people. You might have to 
you not might you gonna have to communicate so you can be able to um let everything be you know flat out on the table so you can be clear of all this karma and you can you know be it can be a deeper healing so you won't be sitting in the back end thinking like you know they won't forgive you you know what i'm saying you might not even have to be face to face but you expressing yourself and openly communicating in some way is gonna let you you know heal from this situation release the karma from this situation and at the bottom of the deck krishna trust your spiritual guidance your commitment has been recognized you are loved unconditionally so somebody been putting in some work and the universe been seeing it they understand it and they heal <laughs> but you got to be willing to you know let all this baggage go five 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 on the clock and as i said it and go through the changes additional call was free i didn't want to say it but when i seen five 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 i gotta say it free popped out also phases and cycles this is a, there is a beginning within every ending illusions are being revealed and released so the universe that heard, heard your cry your call god and heard it so now it's time for you to forgive and let, release yourself from these karmas and entanglements and openly communicate openly communicate your needs openly communicate the things that need to be said so you can release all this baggage boom because you're going through changes Massive changes. Oh, next was the uh, Earth Warriors Oracle. You know, they get real long, real long. Let's see what they have to say. 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 Honor the light. Varakucha. Varakucha, yeah. Vera Kucha, honor the light. We pulled this last reading. Most of my readings be kind of tying together, so it has to be some type of collective energy that's flowing in my boat. <laughs> <laughs> so if you watching this, it's probably meant for you. Check out my other readings and stuff. They might be a little choppy, but you know, a message to message. I'm getting better as I go. 7 33 on the clock as I say that. This Uconite, um, virtually is for sale. I'm putting on my website. I'm just wearing it, you know, to charge it and to work with the energy of it. But it is for sale. I'm gonna be putting it on my website. And I got some copper bangles that I do be wearing on my website. I like them. They stylish. They help with the energy, um, currents to move throughout throughout your body. To, you know, help your energy flow a little better. I'm gonna start wearing them on both sides. But yeah, I just be wearing that one because I like the style of it. But yeah, back to the message. <laughs> Back to the message. First card was under the light. And that card was most definitely. See, I'm not just gonna pull a card at night. I'm we're gonna see and we're gonna talk about this. Honor the light. That beautiful card that I pulled last time. 818 on the clock as I said it. I pulled this card last reading, and it was a powerful message. Vera Kucha, Honor the Light, number 43. Forty-three seven. So the number seven could be very significant. Honor the light. You are a light bearer. Your sole purpose is to redress the presence of darkness on this planet through shining the light. You are meant to do this in ways that feels most uplifting to you. What brings brightness to your spirit? Do those things. How can you create a loving legacy to remind others of the light? Exploring and expressing the light in ways that remind others to seek light is also a way to fulfill your divine destiny. Your light is powerful. Use it. People around you, perhaps even you, can sometimes get caught up in the troubles of the world and forget to focus on the light and their own creative power. Gently but persistently, remind yourself and others to ask for divine help. This can be done according to each other's belief system. Prayers will be answered. Focus on the light at specific moments during each day. Place sacred objects in your line of vision so you see them and remember the light often. You are a light worker, a light barrier. Often often who is divinely designed to receive and transmit light for the benefit of humankind and mother earth you have more influence in situations to bring about divine conclusions than you may realize don't be afraid to use your light in all ways possible no matter what your belief system is krishna popped up the universe been hearing your devotion no matter how you've been devoting and calling to a higher power 
the mirror room second vi sacred vision choose to forgive in order to heal see the light and all remember that love has no boundaries we're gonna go back to this one 10 10 on the clock as i said that we're gonna go back to this one because i feel like this kind of significant to the honor of the light because they're under the light when saying you know rise above what you're seeing in the day-to-day -day life and making that change in the day-to-day -day world and you being that you know glitch in the matrix the mind room i, I just want to you know see what this one says Choose to forgive in order to heal. See that light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. The mind room, which means the beloved, are twin flame angels who come as one. They are mirror images of each other. They are the angels who appear to mirror, who appear to mirror Magdalene, Mary Magdalene in the tomb of Jesus after his passing. These angels spoke directly to Mary and helped her move beyond her grief so that she was able to commune, commune with Jesus once more. Oh... Uh, Okay, there is a real opportunity for you to move beyond grief or grievance at this time. The Myram are here swirling, swirling their holy light all around you so that you can regain a sense of union within spirit. You are loved beyond words. Choose to see the light of God in everyone and everything and to love without boundaries. Honor others and honor yourself with your sacred vision. You are in the space of deep healing and forgiveness. Choosing to see the light of the world will help you to grow even more. So they was very connected. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the discipline to practice to practice comes from a desire to be in the light. You can choose to be in the light for whatever reason. It could be that it is feels good or that it connects you to spirit and that you like that feeling. It may be that being happier makes you more attractive and magnetic. So what you want to experience or you, you want to brighten up someone's day and not darken their mood with your own. You may want to show gratitude to the divine, not discontent and so forth. The point is that you figure out your best motivations to be in the light and practice putting yourself there again and again. One, two, three, four on the clock as I say that. Here go the healing process. Say this prayer out loud. I ask for divine blessings so that my creations may be expressions of true spiritual light, bringing assistance to this world. I give thanks for the gift of my creativity and of my ability to feel and know the light. May this light dwell fully alive within me, inspiring my creativity so that I am a source of living radiance for those in need in this world. May joy always be at home in my heart. Through my own free will, so be it. You have completed your healing process. That's dope. All right, let's pull one more card out of here and see what they got to say. So, honoring that light, knowing that you are a light bearer, you are a light worker. Move beyond your grievances so you can help other people move beyond their grievances. But you first, though. You understand yourself first and you connect in your own dots first. One more card. Boom. The pressures and wear. Rare. Number 30. Pent Panthera. Number 30. Our faith and optimism are not meant to make us complacent, but to encourage us to believe that our action in the world will have a positive and real effect. There are situations where your voice, your, voice, your courage, and your fearless determination are needed. You will make a difference. Cast helplessness or despair aside, aside and realize the fight within. Fight for that which needs defending, defending with, with all of your heart. Do so with compassion, kindness, and mercy, but do not yield. You have the strength to handle, handle any challenge, even the ones that intimidate you. You may feel that you are alone in spirit sometimes, but there are forces of good in spirit and upon the earth that are fighting with you, supporting you, believing in you, assisting you, and championing you, your success. It may not always feel like it, but you are not alone in this. There is help at hand to uncover a hidden piece of information which will allow truth and justice to prevail. Do not give up on yourself or spirit when in the face of possible loss, something deep in our soul records, recalls in horror, horror. It is a sign that something is not right. It is a sign that we are too attached or not trusting enough in the divine to figure everything out. 
It is a sign that we must pay attention, ask for guidance, and then with kindness, courage, and strength, we take appropriate action to safeguard what will otherwise perish. We are not here to be passive consumers or whatever the dominant mainstream consciousness tries to enact in the world, nor the ideologies taught by the counterculture. We are here to learn to awaken the healing power of our own minds in connection with the compassion of our hearts. We are here to become complete human beings and through that to be live and inspire living evolution for the greater good. We are here to be the revolutionary embodiment of living consciousness to be the fearless determined enactors of wisdom we are here to offer and inspire to rebel and refuse to speak with wisdom to create through how we choose to be within ourselves and to under the light in such a way that we protect and preserve what has real value in the world the body the earth and her creatures are not illusions say that they are not real saying that they are not real is not spiritual wisdom that is an unholy deception perpetrated to undermine sacred activists from derailing the devastating behaviors that place profit above all else. The Mantis and the Black Jaguar are rare and endangered unique treasures upon this earth. Their presence in our consciousness reflects a conversation taking place between our soul and the Divine Mother. She knows how to heal any ills within her realm. All we need to do is follow the urges of our heart with confidence and all we need to know will be imparted so that her beautiful will can be brought to bear. Visualize, imagine, or feel that black jaguar is emerging from the night sky. Moonlight shines on black fur. Fearless eyes shine like sunlit amber. The movement is measured, steady, and without hesitation. You sense the absolute certainty and confidence emanating from this sacred creature. Whatever has been holding you back, whatever you can clearly articulate it or not, is severed from your field by one def defeat swipe from Black Jaguar. Feel the release with peace in your heart. Say aloud. The spirit of Black Jaguar reveals my courage, conviction, purpose, and passion. I am free from constraint. I am made ready in this moment and for all moments to come by the grace of the divine feminine. I am willing to participate fully in my life to take action upon the divine urgence of my heart for the greatest good. I would not be shamed in silence. I would take action every day in whatever ways I can with fierce compassion in my heart and sacred rebellious fire in my belly. May divine purpose manifest through our willingness, talent, and our faith in ourselves, each other and the divine. May your loving kindness and creative wisdom render my actions of spiritual benefit to all beings. So be it. Now let's pull these tarot cards. One eight oh eight on the clock, as I said. Thank you, Absolute Source. Thank you, Divine Mother. Connect with me more, Divine Mother. Please give us a message. Let's see what these tarot cards are going to say to us. So connecting with that divine mother again, you know, reconnecting with her and let her heal you from all those ail ailments. Eight three eight on the clock, as I said it, and nurture you with that divine mother no love you might need. Page of Pentacles, beginning of uh. Yeah, beginning of um, man, I'm gonna have to get that out of the book. <laughs> but I just, you know, it gives me like you trying to root and st stabilize yourself, but you gotta be able to, you know, still be in this page energy, energy, this beginning energy. Ooh, I like how I'm coming off the chest with it. You being in this beginning energy, you gotta be able to, you know, get from this first step. Nine, two seeds on the clock as I say that. You can be trying to, you know, plant that first root for so, for however so long. You got to keep moving from that first root. Okay, you done did this root. Let me root some more. It's giving beginning energy. That ain't bad, but you know, you got, like you got to start from somewhere. But I, right, you started from somewhere. Now let's keep moving. Not stand in that stuck, complacent energy of not being able to keep moving forward. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, heartbreak and separation. That's where that karma releasing, that needing to forgive in order to release energy comes from. Real source. Releasing the um the past. Letting the separate not letting the separation, the heartbreaks, the burdens of this world, your situations or what you have been through, you know, really tell you at of what you're trying to create and grow. The devil. Cause he is contemplating. You get what I'm saying? Not letting your ego take you down, despairing, confusion. Not letting your ego, what you think is gonna be the best for you, spiral you into something that's not gonna be. Everything seems so glamorous and flashy until you really see, you know, what the truth is. You can't be going back to this pain, heartbreak. Yeah, they, it sounds good. It look good, and it might taste good, but it ain't really was good for you to get this ground in this and root it into your new beginning because it's trying to come through but you got this pain separation and these you know these conflicting energies coming in i ain't gonna say conflicting energies but you know yourself mostly yourself your ego your points of view your thought forms so yeah you need to really sit with yourself and see what's gonna be the best for you giving and receiving Asking you shall receive, give and receive. See and contemplate what's gonna be best for you. What you really want. Out of these situations, what you really want. Making sure everything in the balance, giving and receiving. Find a card, seven of pentacles. And with the seven of pentacles, you continue to grow and nurture these new beginnings and opportunities that you got in front of you and that you need to keep them moving along forward because the universe is going to cut the bullshit out and it's going to help you move forward. It don't matter what it is. You could be pain, drawn, whatever. But you're giving the universe some type of nudge like, yeah, this is what I want to do and they're going to give it back. Like, okay, here you go. Here, here you go what you need. But you need to sit back and really contemplate, not get in your head too much, but really contemplate what you really want out of life. Is is everything that's in front of you best for you? Is it really good for you? Because you got the devil card popping out. Three of Swords, Heartbreak, Separation. Page of Pentacles, New Beginnings. Fresh Start. Beginner Energy, Page of Pentacles. You might feel like the page. That's what I'm saying. You got these new beginnings, but in order to manifest them, you got to let these heartbreak. You got to get out this heartbreak, separation, this grief energy, and these conflicting energies. It could be conflicting energies and addictions, attachments, cores, attachments, whatever it, the case may be. Getting away from it, calling in your divine support. You know, really sitting back and thinking what you need to ask for and receive from the universe because even if you don't know just asking for help you will get the help you need sell my pinnacle so you can continue growing all these endeavors and everything you got going on to grow and manifest into a tree two to three on the clock as i say that so we're gonna end it off at dead we got my boy ganesh playing on the back i love you my boy uh, we got my boy Kanish playing on the back, but uh, thank you for supporting me for our personal readings. Uh, book me on my website at insomniadreams369.com. Contact me through my site. You can email me at insomniadreamsllc at gmail.com. But connect with me, support me. I hope everyone have a blessed, abundant week, a blessed, a blessed abundant night, a blessed, abundant time frame, whatever you in. Um, I send love, healing, and blessings to you. Thank you.